Hey guys, welcome to YS10 Nordics. Um, so I am just starting. Uh, this is a, I didn't try the demo, so I have no idea what the demo, the game plays like, but I play all Falcon games, so I'm very excited to test this one out. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be absolutely amazing. Um, so let's see what this is. I'm going to basically play it on standard. Um, I do read pretty fast, so let's do fast. Um, field attack correction. Disable directional compensation when attacking. No, I don't think I need that. Uh, partner display? Dual mode? What is dual mode? I think that's new. I have no idea what that is. Um, so there's pretty standard stuff. Uh, sound. I think we'll just leave it on default. Uh, I can adjust the volume if needed later. Voice language, there's Japanese and English. I'm on it! I'm actually used to playing in Japanese voiceovers because there's English text, so let's just do Japanese voices. Or oh, actually, no, maybe because I've never played in English. I'm on it. Let's try English. Um, Let's see, very normal stuff. There's no performance mode, though. Okay. Okay, so let's get started. Um, let's see. Easy, normal, hard, nightmare, inferno. Ooh. I never actually played the game on inferno, but nightmare is going to be good. Inferno, I usually do like new game plus. So the first playthrough should be on nightmare because. Or maybe on inferno. You know what? Maybe let's go crazy and try Inferno. If it's too hard, I'll lower it down to Nightmare. But, uh, what additional footing? Well, add footholds in areas that are difficult to maneuver. No, I don't like that. I like difficulty. Give me the hardest thing ever. At the moment of birth, each of us is as free as a bird, with not a single restraint tying us down. But with age come the varied shackles that bind, clipping away at our wings, feather by feather. In time, we long for a return to the freedom we once knew. But the truth is... We can return to those days, whenever we so choose. or what? The brisk ocean breeze, the wide open sea, smells like a new journey on our horizon. I gotta say, I'm glad I took you up on your offer, Adel. Being stranded on Asteria for so long was really getting to me. I'm glad I asked you to come. Same. This has me even more pumped than all the way back when I first left my hometown. It's been a wild ride since then, but that doesn't make me any less grateful to you. I can hardly remember the last time I felt this chipper. Adel. Dogi. So this is where you two were. My, I never dared dream I'd get to see the actual ocean in person. Even now, it's difficult to believe a vessel this large is capable of floating upon its waves. What manner of sorcery is this? I guess this is all one big culture shock for someone born and raised on Ease. Dr. Flair here is even giddier than me. That I am. In my view, being on the surface instead of above it is a miracle in itself. To say nothing of the unprecedented chance it's given me to search for the original strain of Selsetan flower. Selsetan flower? That's the name of a type of medicinal herb, right? It's native to the great forest on the Galia-Ispani border or something. 
Indeed it is. I couldn't very well rest on my heels after hearing that's where you two were headed. The prospect of seeing it in its natural habitat was ample reason to climb aboard. Your get-up and go could put even Adel to shame. But be sure to mind your health, okay? At the rate you're going, you'll end up fainting in sheer bliss the second you stumble onto those flowers. <laughs> well, frankly speaking, that scenario is all but guaranteed. Well, we won't be arriving in Celsetta for a long while yet. Might as well kick back a bit and enjoy the ride for now, don't you think? Oh, I can move now. So, like, just to set expectations um, for this playthrough, I do think I will probably be doing nearly a 100% completionist run. Uh, mainly just because I do that for every single YS game I play, because yeah. there's a lot of unlockables and secret stuff that unlocks when you do that. Um, so that is the idea. Uh, I will also be putting out as many videos of this as I can, because I usually play this all in one go. Um, so I will just probably be spamming videos. Um, if you're interested in seeing like different sections of the game, I don't usually edit my stuff, so you can kind of see like oh, how how strong do you get at 10 hours, um, and then how cool this late game. You can probably see all of that. Um, and that's the idea. Uh, yeah, so it seems like only the cutscenes are voiced, which is normal. Uh, I'm not going to usually like read out what's being said, uh, mainly because there's a lot of text, um, so you're, you're going to have to read it. Ah, a passenger. Having a pleasant voyage, I hope. You appear to be a seasoned traveler for a boy your age. Is that right? My apologies for presuming, then. If this is your first time in the area, you won't want to miss the extraordinary sights we have coming up shortly. Oh? What's that over there? Mountains? No, wait. I think those are islands. Attention all passengers. I am your captain, Victor LaSalle. Allow me to express my gratitude to you for sailing with us on the Adamas today. If you look to our left-hand side, you'll find Obelia Gulf, famous for its sprawling archipelago. This current bout of clear weather lets us see the myriad patches of land, both large and small, that populate these waters. It will be quite some time yet before the ship arrives at our destination in Celsetta. So until then, we invite you to bask in this scenic tapestry of blue seas and beauteous islands. Understood. Let's make haste. My word! What a magnificent sight! Obelia Gulf, huh? Sure doesn't disappoint. That reminds me, Adel. You said you were looking for a western archipelago before you came to Asteria, right? There any chance this might be... Whoa! A little close for comfort, don't you think? How's a guy supposed to take in the sights like this? Hey, Adel! Men, prepare to hunt! Behold thy foes with steady hearts. Fear not thy fate, for life and death are the deities to decide. Those who fall with valor shall be ushered into their divine kingdom. Now, shout forth the name of our god! Ha! Huh? It 
can't be! P pirates! So he did hire mercenaries. Shield wall! Charge! Stay behind us, Doc! Right. Thank you. Oh? You another one of them mercs? Bit on the puny side, ain't he? Sure you know which way to hold that thing, little fella? What a joke. The big lug behind him would be more worth our time. What difference does that make? You've still got a blade at the ready either way. Enough chit-chat. Let's make this quick. Okay, so attacking and targeting X to perform a normal attack, R3 to lock onto enemies, making attacks easier to land. How's that? Okay, so circle jumps. What is square? I don't know what square is. There's a guard with L2, R2 is... R2 is guard, L1 is dash. Okay. I'm actually not used to this. Can I change the controls? Uh, system setting... No way, there's no rebinding settings. I don't like this one. Oh, button config, here we go. Switch. Uh, switch, I'm used to doing circle, so let's do circle here. Jump can be X. Um, rescue? Normal attack should be square. Rescue can be triangle, I guess. And then for guard, I like R1, so I don't like skill fun- oh wait, oh yeah, I should probably keep skill as this. Evade is L1, dual mode is R2, dash, dash evade, oh, dual mode is R2. Okay, so I've made some changes, uh, hopefully it doesn't mess my stuff up too much. Um, but yeah, we'll see how that works. Okay. So, our attack is now square. Um, okay. Whoa! Wait, how much damage did I take? I figured I took like 60 damage in one hit. Inferno is Inferno, alright. Probably like the hardest tutorial ever because like, I'm so squishy and the enemies are so tanky. Um, it's still the same. Why is this always like that? On hard difficulties, the health of the enemies are so insanely high. Damn it all! Rotten punk! You're in for it now! You bumbling louts! How long does it take to handle one cell sword trying to play bodyguard? Our fault, ma'am. The kid's a lot tougher than he looks. Oh, really? Fine then. I'll take care of him myself. Okay, hold R2 to guard. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. That was guard. L1 to perf uh, perform swift movement and evade enemy attacks. You done saying your prayers? <laughs> How's that? Sorry. Oh no, I died. Done saying your prayers? How's that? Okay, I don't like guard. Guard can't be used like... Oh wait, yeah it can. Oh, okay. I see. Oh! I see, I see, I see, I see. Yes, guard works like that. Okay. She's using skills. Whoa! Here it comes! Whole lot of fuss for one small fry. Try not to lose that red head of yours, kid! Princess. I must ask that you stand down. That boy appears to be no more than a passenger. 
What? We have already apprehended the captain. Right this way. <sighs> so those are pirates. This is my first time encountering them in the flesh. Oh boy, we're in a real jam now. Captain Victor LaSalle. I thought we had an agreement. There's a toll for sale in these waters. And you promise never to skip out on it again. H hold on a moment! This is the last time, I swear! Whatever you do, just let me live! We both already know how this goes. Any room you had to parley was forfeit the minute you put those mercenaries on your payroll. Stay your hand, boy. Those are no mere pirates. They're the Balta Sea Force. Woof! I'm stuffed! Guess good eats are a given when you set up town by the ocean. The stuff you get further inland just doesn't compare to fresh seafood. That aside, it would seem we're going to be stranded here for the time being. Yeah, who'd have guessed the Adamus was cruising through these waters illegally? Obviously, the captain already paid the ultimate price for that. But I hear they're even seizing his ship as compensation for all those unpaid tolls. It leads me to wonder what the story is behind this Balta Sea Force. To their credit, they did let Adel loose after determining he was merely a passenger. Doesn't make those lugs any less high and mighty, though. If they look like pirates and plunder like pirates... Like Normans, you mean?
Normans, you say? They are lawless people from the north with incredible seafaring know-how. Word is, they've looted their way not just here, but across the entire North Sea. Raiding towns, pillaging churches, kidnapping innocents. None of it is beneath a Norman. And the Balta Sea Force makes up just one faction among them. Sounds like your typical pirates to me. How do they get away with it? I was given to understand that the entire region of Glia fell under Roman Imperial control. Rumor has it that not even the Empire would dare to defy the Sea Force. The Normans have had an iron-fisted grip on Obelia Gulf for ages now. Some say that it spares us from suffering under Roman rule, but they don't speak for everybody. Hey, did you hear about what happened to the Adamas? I did. Captain LaSalle was treading a dangerous line. He simply reaped what he sowed, if you ask me. Won't argue with that. Still, it's hard not to feel for the guy. Those pirates had no right to waltz in like they own these waters and demand a toll. Why should any of us have to play along with their made-up... Shush! I can sympathize, but that sort of talk is best kept to yourself. Oh, what did I do to deserve being born in Karnak, of all places? I see what you mean. Doesn't sound like they get the warmest reception around here. As would be the case in any town. Though this one does seem to have its fair share of hardships. <sighs> it does have its charms, yes. The bevy of islands we saw from the ship, for instance, were absolutely breathtaking. Oh, yes, that's true. We locals are so used to the view that it often slips our minds. That reminds me, Missy. These islands wouldn't happen to come with any unusual myths or lore, would they? Our little group's got a special interest in that sort of thing. Is that your reason for traveling, maybe? I can't guarantee there's anything that'll live up to your expectations, but... Hmm... Let's see... Aha! If it's run-of-the-mill folktales you're after, I have just the one. Really, now? Do share. Well, legends tell of what's known as the Sea King's Throne. The throne is said to be hidden away on one of the islands here in Obelia Gulf. Supposedly, whoever finds and sits upon it will have their wishes granted. Oh, that's some juicy stuff. How about it, Adel? This do anything for you? Who are you fooling? I can see the giddiness written all over your face. Uh, uh, hold on a moment. It really is just a story. Oh, what's the harm? Let them chase their dreams. That's what being young is all about. Heck, back when I was their age, I... <coughs> Forgive him. He's had a few ales too many, it seems. Say that throne really exists, though. What would you wish for, Rosalind? Huh? M me? Well, for our humble little business to prosper, of course. What else? <laughs> Brings a tear to my eye, it does. <laughs> Renee must be proud. It's easy to see why you're Rusveri's poster girl. Makes me want to spend three days and nights drinking this tavern down to its last drop. And I do it all with a smile. The more they rake in the cash, the happier Rosalind gets. How sweet! I think you've had quite enough for one day. Our apologies for bothering you, gentlemen. Nah, it's all good. Like they mentioned, my name is Rosalind. I'm the daughter of the owners. The three of you are going to be lodging with us tonight, right? If you have any issues during your stay, anything at all, just let me know. Of course! Always happy to be of service. Well, I'd better get back to work. Relax and unwind as long as you need. Such a capable young lady. Reminds me of Lilia back home. By the way, Adel, I know this Sea King's Throne is a big deal and all, but we got some other things to take care of first if we're sticking around. The travel funds we scrounged up were only enough to get us to sell Seta. Quite right. With that in mind, I plan to pay the local clinic a visit. Upon our arrival, 
I noticed a flyer that said they were recruiting medical practitioners. Well, ain't that convenient. Doesn't really solve the issue for us two, though. Are you youngsters in need of work? Yeah. You got any leads? Well, both the harbor and the town militia are hiring at the moment. The docks are always short on labor. I'm certain a brawny fellow such as yourself would be a welcome addition. And the red-haired lad is a swordsman, no? The militia's been on the hunt for temporary recruits, I believe. No joke? That's great! Thanks for the tip! Seems we have a few promising candidates. Sure do. Let's get out there and follow up on them once we're done taking a load off. Main menu and saving. Okay, pretty straightforward. Uh, saving? Huh? Saving? Wait, saving. Oh, press start. Okay, let's make a save. The raid unlock. Oh, huh? yeah. Wow, it's already been like half an hour. Nice. There's so many cutscenes. You should like that, though, so I'm not surprised. All right, you two. This is where we split up for now. Indeed. I'll be heading to the local clinic. I may just take a look around town as well, seeing as we're extending our stay. Let's aim to meet back up around dinner time then. Adel, I'm guessing you're also gonna. Me. Seek me. Adel, you good? A voice? I didn't hear anything. Sure it wasn't just your imagination? There's no shortage of noises out here. Perhaps you mistook one for somebody speaking to you. Anyway, back to what I was saying. It's time to start scoping this place out. You probably plan to wander the streets a bit yourself before checking in with the militia, huh, Adel? Catch you both later, then. Okay, so I can hold L1 to dash. <laughs> Probably gonna have to explore the entire maps again, because I remember there being, like, some kind of reward if you, like, explore and reach out, like, all those gray areas. Um, but I don't really see... Huh. Usually when you press, like, the middle touchpad thing, it shows you, like, the full map explored so you know, like, exactly where you have to explore. Doesn't seem like that is present yet, but every YS game I've played has some kind of exploration completion requirement. So I am just here. going to do the same thing and just try to explore as much of everything as possible because there's usually some really badass rewards um yeah. so uh, that's from the experience of playing a lot of ys games yeah like you it's like those traditional rpgs where you have to like really make sure you're like touching every single nook and cranny uh career generous salary oh. huh Wait a second. Hey, don't tell me. You're here to sign up for the militia, right? Never seen you around before, but I think we're about the same age. The name's Gren. How about you? Adol, huh? Man, oh man, you've just gotta enlist. We could really use a guy like you. Wait, what's with the long face? Ugh. Is that a deal breaker? It did used to be slightly better for what it's worth. But the mayor slashed our budget in order to keep the militia from being overfunded. When the Balta Sea Force says jump, he asks, how high? It's pathetic enough to drive you to tears. You... you mean it? I knew I liked you for a reason! The only problem is, our commander and the others are out at the moment. They should be here tomorrow, though, so feel free to swing by again around noon. Call it a hunch, but I've got a feeling you and I are gonna be fast friends. Calling all youths! 
A career in the Karnak Militia awaits you! Okay, so it sounds like we have to explore the town first. I wonder what time this story takes place. It sounds like they haven't gone to Salceda, Salceda, Salceda yet, which you is there. like YS4. Well, here's an unfamiliar face. You must be one of the passengers from the Adamas. Is everything all right? They didn't hurt you, did they? Sorry for calling to you out of nowhere like that. We each have a child about the same age as you. So our motherly instincts kicked in. Honestly, who do those Balta hooligans think they are? Wreaking havoc left, right, and center. They impose an exorbitant toll on every vessel crossing Obelia Gulf, and plunder anyone who flouts it. Some ships, like the Adamas, will try and make their way through without drawing attention. But when they're found out, they wind up like Captain LaSalle. That's for sure. Once you're dead, that's it. Nothing else to be done. Ironically enough, the Balta Sea Force would have escorted them personally had he paid the toll. In that sense, they do their part to maintain order throughout the Gulf, which is why the Roman Empire turns a blind eye. When all is said and done, as long as we live here, those brigands' word is law. There are far fewer instances of pillaging than before now. So we can only assume this is for the best. Still, it would be nice if our mayor could put his foot down every once in a while. <sighs> I pity the man. Having to deal with our complaints and the Sea Force's demands has him between a rock and a hard place. Well, that's what he signed up for when he took on the job. Anyway, you just be sure to stay out of their line of fire. Okay. That's a nice lady. Warning random passerby idol. But yeah, I don't know if this is like before or after the forest, the um YS4 uh Sosita I forgot what it was called, but it's the game that was on Vita and it was like remade for the Vita. And I remember it being like a giant ass forest with huge trees. And then I think it got released on Steam as well. Uh, that was a really good game uh, for the Vita anyways, because there weren't that many games. Um, but I think this story places before that one. But like, Addo's, I mean, YS story games are all, all over the place and it doesn't really matter. There's no contingency. It's just they have like numbers and it feels like that it's always all over the place. Like there are sequels and prequels, but none of them are connected in the least Let's bit. Let's not so go it this way. Really matter at all. Um, but I still like to figure out exactly where in the timeline it is, well, even though it doesn't matter. Because I, I think the last game was like Nox, Nox, Noxstrom, or whatever the name was, where you can turn into like monsters, monster powers. And that game was really good, but I never figured out which timeline it was. Like, is it older or earlier in the storyline? Um, but. Because Addo goes on like 200 billion different adventures, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can just never really figure out where he is. But try to when they have like mentioned names that I recall. Uh, just mainly because it's fun to yeah. kind of guess where this part of the story it is. Um, so it doesn't really feel like there's a lot to explore here. I just have to go in for that final little point, but uh, just trying to do explore as much of the town. Pretty cool, like it's pretty well designed. There's different buildings everywhere. Everything looks cool, natural, uh, well distribution of characters and stuff. Um, typical YS town, which is Let's like not go this way. pretty well looking and each town looks pretty unique. I'm assuming there's gonna be more than one. Um, yeah, but it doesn't seem like there's any shops here. So I don't think this is gonna be a main town. It'll probably be like a, just a really temporary one. Like, there's an inn, but then I don't see any NPCs selling stuff. So I don't know how long this town is going to be used for. I've got to say, the quality of these Spanish leather goods is on a whole other level. One might say the same of Obelian seafood. Rich flavors, firm to the touch. 
It is simply unparalleled. Brom and Ispani may be at odds right now, but I believe our transaction today has proved mutually beneficial. To be perfectly honest, our middleman here deserves all the credit for making this deal happen. Th that attire is here. Well spotted. I am indeed a Norman. However, I find that being a tradesman suits me far better than waving an axe about. <laughs> That's good to know. They say Normans are first-class mariners. No doubt that expertise slots in perfectly with mercantile work. I'm flattered to hear you say so. It's thanks to the Baltic Sea Force that we're still able to do business like this during wartime. They're the ones who make sure ships from both sides can travel these waters safely. Not having those persnickety Roman officials around to stick their oars in has been heaven sent for us as well. I very much look forward to your continued patronage. <laughs> you and me both, pal. <laughs> and let's not forget to keep our friends from the Sea Force in the loop, too. On a separate note, Romes, the militia recently informed me that an incident has blocked the highway out of town. Correct me if I'm wrong, but don't you have an important negotiation to attend in that direction? Well, well, word gets around fast. It's nothing I'm not aware of. In fact, I've already asked the militia for an update on the situation. Shouldn't be long before they report back. Seek me. This way. Oh. Oh, I'm controlling it. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna adjust the uh, auto text. I think I can go faster because it's kind of slow. Auto play speed fast. So just hopefully that means it starts right when the audio cue ends, uh, which is how, how I thought auto play should actually work. Seek me. Right here. Find me. Shell adorned with distinctive decorations. Okay. Oh, what? Swordsman, can you hear me? Bestow you mana, enough power, defeat.
Okay, so now I have skills, R1 and then buttons. Uh, skill for me, menu, prefer skill, I'll use for a lot of buttons. Okay. Uh, assign skill from skill menu, rage slash. Oof. Oh man, <laughs> one hit does 90 damage. Oh, that is... oh no! It's doing so much damage. Wow. I died in three hits on Inferno. Okay, that's gonna be rough, man. I'm sorry. I don't any details. My name Leela. Who are you? Adam. Search Island. Come find help. In go. So the shell spoke to you. How very curious. As for this mana you mentioned, can we assume it's some form of magic? Well, of course it is. You only just got it a little while ago. That wolf you fought that just wouldn't die has me hung up too. I talked up a storm with the guys down at the docks, but none of them mentioned anything close to that. It may well be that something is actively unfolding as we speak. The Baltus Sea Force, Mana, an undead wolf, and a girl named Leela. Doesn't seem to tie in with that Sea King's throne we heard about earlier, either. It's just mystery after mystery around here. You know what that means. <laughs> Your eye always thought adventure was something you had to seek out. But whenever you're around, Adel, it seems to find us instead. <laughs> Nothing like a little intrigue to spice up a trip. Finding that girl's gonna be a tall order, though. This gulf's got more islands than you can shake a stick at. The first step is to gather information. You'll also be in need of a ship. I'll put my new job down at the harbor to use and poke around for some intel. As for myself, the Azrat Clinic has hired me on as a temporary physician. I'll see if I can't find someone in town who's willing to lend us a hand. Sounds like a plan. Let's kick things off first thing tomorrow morning, Adel. Okay, the only thing I'm actually kind of concerned about is, is it possible for me to, like, drop the difficulty if I want to? I don't think I can. So am I locked in on Inferno difficulty? Oh. Oh, I can also drop, I can drop it anytime. Okay. So I'm on Inferno. I might drop it to Nightmare. I don't know. Um, staying at Inferno for now because I haven't really done any combat. But it's starting to feel like it's not meant for a first time play for me. Okay, so I have a letter. Who though? Waiting at the town beach. What? It must be that guy. Wait. Waiting at the town beach. You know? Every single YS game I played, I think you start off with getting the main girl, female protagonist. So it might be that uh, Viking girl that like tried to kill Ado. Always the girl, right? I feel like that's the case. 
for every single YS game, I think it's always the main protagonist girl. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Didn't think you'd show up alone. There's something I need to double check. You're probably full of questions, but I'm in no mood to explain. Just think of this as us picking up where we left off yesterday. So you do know of it. Power attacks. Enemy will perform a power attack after emitting a red warning. Note that power attacks cannot be defended against through regular guarding or evasion. What? I won't hold Wait, back how, do, how do I counter it then? How's that? Sorry. What? I won't hold back this time. Wait, how much damage did she do? I was full health. Oh, she does more than 169 damage in one hit. Oh, I see. That's why I, I won't died. hold back this oh, okay. time. Yeah, I might seriously have to tune down the difficulty until like later on, then I can raise it up again. But right now, it's just kind of rough. It's like instant one hit KO. Messed up. <laughs> oh man, it's instant I death. Won't hold back this I just have to screw up once and it's done. 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 Gotcha. Just guard can do that. Power of mana. How'd you get your hands on it? You didn't use it back on the Adamas. I could say that much. Leela? Never heard of her. Mana, on the other hand, is my people's concept of a formless power. Imbued in a sword, it brings forth victory. Imbued in a vessel, it grants safe passage. Only those chosen by the Allfather Har are able to wield it. Out of the Sea Force, that list starts and ends with me and my old man. It is. So explain to me why a louse like you... Blood and thunder. Grieger. <laughs> you fought one just yesterday, didn't you? Put a Grieger down with just any old weapon, and it'll rise back up again and again, wounds fully healed. Mana is the only thing that can slay him for good. <laughs> well... Aren't we popular? What was that just now? Duo mode. Hold R2 to enter dual mode in which you can press square to perform joint attacks. Not attacking while in dual mode replacing dual guard. Death stands letting you automatically defend against enemy attacks. Oh, that's cool. Form up. Wait, am I in dual mode? Oh, I see dual mode. Oh, crap. What in hell did you just do to us? <laughs> At least now I have a good grasp on what I was sent to investigate. We're finished here. So long. Huh? And why should that matter? I'm a Norman. A pirate. One false move, and you might be my next kill. Can't handle that? Then pack your bags and see yourself out of Obelia Gulf. Son 
never. <sighs> Handcuffs? Made of mana? You! What did you pull this time? Guess not. This mana doesn't seem to be coming from either of us. <laughs> uh, stuck tight! Hey, quit gawking and help! This spells trouble for us in more ways than you can count. Either we get these off, or I'm sending you back with one less hand. Got that? No luck. Might well be a curse of some kind. I hate to say it, but my old man's probably the only person we can turn to at this point. Couldn't even begin to guess. What a mess. They call you Adol, right? We'll have to stick together for a while. Unless you fancy me lopping you off at the wrist. Nothing phases you, does it? My name's Karja. Karja Balta. Daughter of Grimson Balta. Jarl of the Balta Sea Force. <laughs> Already put two and two together, eh? Well, no time to waste. I'm off to report in at the Balta Sea Force's command post. It's over by the harbor, so don't fall behind. Hey, don't stray too far. I've taken enough tumbles for my liking. Wonder if Gunnar knows anything about this. Ugh, why me? So we're just heading over there. At least we're starting to get some combat, but like, there's been like an hour of just cutscenes. Oh, that's Dogi. Hey, princess. Back already? Who's your plus one? Is Gnar in? I have a report to make. Yeah, I'll go get him for you. <laughs> Not every day you see the princess bring in someone from the straight and narrow. You her little boy toy now, or what? Wait, for real? Didn't realize you were her type. Actually, now that I think about it, wasn't that swordsman she threw down with on the Adamus also? Hey, what are you whispering to him about? Uh, just making small talk. I swear. What seems to be the trouble, princess? Gunnar, how many times do I have to tell you to quit calling me that? Oh? Who might this boy be? He's the swordsman Grimson told me to look into. A request from the Jarl? Ah, now I remember. He was a passenger on the Adamas. I see. So we have here not only a mana wielder, but a pair of mystical shackles. What's more, the latter has rendered you unable to separate from the former. That better not be a smirk, I see. Not at all. This isn't humorous in the least. It is, however, exceptionally unusual. Only the Jarl can make the final call here. Unfortunately, he is currently out at sea on an expedition. We do not expect him back until tomorrow. Tomorrow? I and just what am I supposed to do until then? Hmm. With all due respect, Princess, I must ask that you spend the remainder of your day here in Karnak. What? But why? It wouldn't do to have a non-shield brother accompanying us, for one thing. <sighs> this may even be to your benefit from a certain perspective. What better chance to familiarize yourself with how those under our rule live and think? 
I believe you're at an age now where such matters ought to be considered. Fair. Not to mention it is possible for this turn of events to be grossly misconstrued. In what way? There are those who would be only too pleased to regard this as a scandalous affair on your part. We have no need to voluntarily provide them with issues to raise at the Thingstead. All right, already! I get the message. Adol, was it? My apologies for giving you a fright on the Adamas. I am Gunnar, War Chief of the Baltus Sea Force. I'm recalling you correctly, then. Your battles aboard the Adamas were very impressive. No doubt you have many thoughts on this subject, but collaboration is a must if you want any hope of resolving this. We Normans have our ways, some of which may run counter to your own. Nevertheless, I would ask that you work in concert with her and us until we manage to set you two free. It, my apologies, but based on what I've just heard, your compliance is not a matter of choice. I will notify you as soon as the Jarl returns, Princess. Until then, travel with Adol and mind what he says. Don't you have that backwards, Gunnar? Why are you so trusting of him anyway? That you feel the need to ask is all the more reason to make use of this opportunity. The boy is, if nothing else, accustomed to travel. I expect he will be very accommodating. <sighs> I had best return to my duties. Take care. I leave the rest to you, Adol. Okay. Okay, heading over to the clinic. I think she's, they're just gonna end up taking off her helmet, right? Cause the helmet looks intimidating. So, this, some of our crew's oh, been whoops. treated here. They do a good job, as far as I can tell. Who is it? I'll be there in just a moment. Oh, Dr. Flair, welcome back. Sorry again for putting you up to that house call. It should have been my father checking in with Mr. Evelys. Now, now, don't give it another thought. Actually, I stopped by to ask a rather, shall we say, convoluted favor of you, Mirabelle. Why, of course. What is it? Would it happen to have anything to do with the local celebrity standing behind you? Yes, she is the crux of the matter, in fact. Well, I can certainly see why that'd be a problem. It just so happens that we've been collecting used clothing as part of our volunteer efforts. There might be something in there that'll fit you, Princess. <sighs> hmm? Is something the matter? No, it's just... You don't seem to be all that afraid of me. Our clinic has a policy of helping all those who are sick, injured, or otherwise in need. That goes for everyone, be they a Roman, a Spaniard, or Norman. And besides... In your case, I would be more than happy to help. Give me just a moment, please. There we are. Already, step right in. I still don't see the problem with what I'm in now. This goes on the outside. You just put it on like so. Hold it. I am a Norman warrior. How am I meant to keep an even keel in that flimsy getup? There's no need for that. Mirabelle can handle this just fine. Let's wait and see how things turn out. Hmm. You may be 
right that these clothes aren't as sturdy in comparison. But, odd as it sounds, the right apparel at the right time and place can hold more power than you realize. Much like your mana, in fact. Huh? Clothing that suits the occasion can do wonders for your courage and confidence. For example, donning this nurse uniform fills me with pride and peace of mind. The outfit you're currently in has a similar effect on you, doesn't it, princess? <sighs> You've been told to spend the entirety of today here in Karnak. I'm positive the memories these garments hold will give you the strength to do just that. What one wears during life's biggest moments can serve as a memory in and of itself. So that's how you people see it. Fine then. One change of clothes won't kill me. Your words won me over. Even if that bit about memories went over my head. I knew you'd come around. See? What did I say? Indeed. Mirabelle is quite impressive for someone her age. I heard she even has a knack for getting all the children to drink their medicine, no matter how bitter. Dun da da da! The time has come for the grand reveal! From fearsome pirate princess to cute as a button, I present to you, Karja! You call this cute? Drafty, more like. Huh. You really think so? Actually, now that I'm wearing it, this is a lot more mobility than I thought it would. Consider me astounded. You're a miracle worker, Mirabelle. Not even I thought it would go this well. On that note, it's nearly time for you two to meet with the militia, isn't it? You should probably be on your way, Adel. Changing outfits unlocked. Oh, I can change outfits now. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, is that any equipment? Huh, I have no idea how to change outfits. Oh, I actually see, like, crafting materials on the bottom left. That probably means that like, you can upgrade and, like, I mean, not upgrade, but, uh, yeah, upgrade, better than but. Ever. Also, actually, like, maybe, like, base building and unlocking higher tier in. shops and stuff like that. I remember that being a thing in, like, Don't YS. Don't think that means I'm giddy about it, though. Eight. If I catch you leering... And you're absolutely sure they were dead? No doubt about it, sir. We dealt the fatal blows ourselves. It all happened so quickly. We looked away for only a second when... Battle! You showed up just like you said you would! Wait, who's the girl? Oh yeah? Does that mean she's gonna be joining the militia too? Huh? Why would I ever do that? So, no, huh? Anyway, uh, thanks for making the trip over and all, but we're actually pretty swamped at the moment. Yeah, and it's almost too weird to be true. Some pedestrians were attacked by a pack of wolves on the highway outside town this morning. Our guys from the militia made sure to stamp them out for good. But the minute they took their eyes off the bodies, a whole bunch of them disappeared. Maybe a bear came by and snatched up its next few meals? Whisking that many dead wolves away in the few moments no one was looking? Sounds kind of far-fetched. The most likely answer is that they were never actually finished off. But, I don't know. Isn't that man... So it's possible these wolves escaped with their injuries and are still lurking along the road. Yet despite that, the blockade was lifted, allowing several civilians to exit onto the highway. Do I have that correct, Commander Gulliver? <sighs> That's about the long and short of it, yeah. But no matter how you spin it, there's just too much about this case that doesn't add up. That's unusually glib coming from you. I understand the desire to stick up for your men, but remember whose shoulders the blame falls on should the worst occur. Now get moving! There are travelers on that highway who need protecting, our citizens included. Hey! I've just about had it with your selective hearing! Hmm? 
Commander Gulliver and the rest of the militia made every effort to kill those wolves and keep the roads blocked. But there's only so much we can do when we're constantly understaffed. The whole squad's exhausted. Each of us barely gets any time off. And it's all because you caved into the Normans and slashed our budget! Hmm. That's enough, Gren. But, Commander! <sighs> the Mayor's right. Keeping the people safe is what matters most right now. We're in a race against time. I'm going to need every able-bodied member on deck. Yes, sir! My men and I will move out straight away, Mayor Clement. We'll report back as soon as we can. See that you do. All right! Let's get this show on the road! Sorry, Adel. Duty's calling. If you're still interested in signing up, drop by again after things cool down a bit. Will do. Catch you later! Huh? I'll admit this incident has me curious, but don't tell me you're bent on helping. Have it your way. So the militia headed for the Hagen Highway, huh? We can get there by circling back past the clinic. You want to follow him? Then hurry it up. Okay, so we're probably going out into the open world now, and we can finally get some combat. Uh, the cutscene is actually significantly more than I thought it was going to be. It's like, how long is it now? It's been one hour and I haven't really gone anywhere yet. Holy crap. Is that a save stone? Heal stone? What is this? Uh, mana settles over Adol. A uh, hewn stone. Mana Widow's can use recover their strength. Use it here for an RP. Pinch. Okay. Uh, explore the areas where we log the map. Press by pressing right. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's like travel points, treasure chest, and land discovery raid. Same as usual. Um, make sure to Let's like catch our breath. completely uh, explore each map, and then there's usually like bonuses. After that. Wait, is this collectible? Nope. Is this collectible? How's that? Gotcha. I don't really understand the dual mode. Is it like infinite? Because I don't feel like there's a limit to dual mode. I can kind of attack forever. Is it just forever? Can I switch characters? No way, I can't seem to switch. Wait, is this game only two characters then? Kind of feels like there's only two characters in this game then. Right? I'm gonna check the settings just to. Uh, no, wait, the button config. Switch. Wait, so I can switch with circle, right? I'm not switching though. Maybe I have to unlock it. Because normally you can switch right away, and I can't seem to switch characters, but I, I think you can. Otherwise, it's gonna be like it's gonna take forever for you to upgrade your character skills because normally the characters don't know how to spam. Gotcha, I don't believe it. Every time we knock one down, it just gets back up again. <sighs> Commander, what the hell are we dealing with here? Couldn't tell you, but I've got a pretty good idea of why all that carrion went missing now. Damn it all! Uh, Adel? No! You need to fall back! Now! These things can't be... No way! What in the world is going on here? Mana, you say? I did hear that a handful of Normans had mysterious powers at their disposal. 
And you're saying that seashell there gave you the ability to use them? That's ridiculous. You can't expect us to actually believe this. <sighs> and knee slide! God Almighty, Leela Almighty, Adel Almighty! I beseech thee, grant me thy strength! Ah, oh, crap. No dice, huh? Not a speck of shame in this one. Well, Commander, now that we know the whole story, let's ask Adel and his lady friend to save the townsfolk in our place. What? Come off it, Gren. These two aren't part of the militia. Heck, they're practically still kids. The mayor chewed us out enough when you first joined up. Imagine how he'd react to this. Well, I'm not hearing any other bright ideas. We already know we can't take down those wolves ourselves. And there's more where they came from. What about all the people still out on the highway? Well, well... Besides, Commander, Adol here's the guy I told you about yesterday. The one who wanted to sign up with us. It... Is that right? Yeah. Uh, it's Adol and Karja, right? Hate to put you out, but we're gonna need you to rescue the townsfolk in our place. Far above. If you're that set on this, then let's make it quick. Oh, right. Take this with you. Let me know if you run out and I'll top you off. Try not to get too in over your heads. We'll come back you up once we're finished tending to the wounded. Best of luck to you. Uh, let's see, recover items, leave that empty potion, so we fill up more medicine at certain locations. Wait, I found a difficulty didn't leave empty potions. That's this one, right? Empty bottles will not remain after using items. Oh, so that's nightmare. That means I don't have any empty bottles. Oh, okay, so I can't... So it doesn't restore. I have to keep on buying yeah. healing items? Or, like, what does that mean? Do I just run out of items eventually? That yeah. is going to be very difficult to do. Is that a boss? Feels like a boss. Power attacks indicated by red ores can be guarded while in dual mode. Oh. Okay, cool. I can guard in dual mode. Found some already. What's the big idea? Blocking the road. Don't you have any idea how vital today's negotiations are? You do realize that they don't understand human speech, right, Dad? Anyway, I'm more worried about whether the others managed to get away safely. I can't put my finger on it, but something about these wolves gives me a bad feeling. Hard to imagine feeling good about a wild animal attack, son. Anyone. Man or beast, who gets in the way of our business is evil incarnate from head to toe. Once the militia gets here, I'll have these mutts turned into fur coats and sold for a profit. Who, who are you two? Oh, folks from the militia. A bit on the young side, but I won't complain. Yeah. Whoa ho ho! It, incredible. Looks like I was right to think those wolves were out of the ordinary. <sighs> so much for those fur coats. Priorities, Dad? Shoot. Good call. Uh, how would you two like a job escorting us to our destination? I'm Romes of Carpent Trading, by the way. Romes Carpent. You're that big money merchant from Karnak. Well, what do you say? I can pay double the militia's rates if you get me to my business meeting on time. Oh, for crying out loud. Cruz, uh, you're about their age, give or take. Talk some sense into them. No can do, Dad. But why not? Because those wolves just now weren't the last of them. What about everybody who ran off ahead of us? Are you really so short-sighted that you'll throw away every scrap of trust the town has in you just to close a deal? 
Credibility is the most important commodity a merchant can have. It was you who taught me that. Ugh, way to go, me. I always did have a way with words. Oh. Well, that settles that. You're free to go help the others. We'll make the sensible choice and return to Karnak. It's nothing special. I'm only doing what any reasonable person would. Let's see, perfect guard. Yep, I already Adult, that. Over there. <laughs> this could be trouble. If the rumors are true, these things are immortal. Then what are we supposed to do? Well, the only option is to use one of us as bait. Just kidding. Don't worry, I'm not that cold-blooded. Run as soon as I give you the signal. W wait I never agreed to anything! Uh, huh? Who are you guys? Let us take care of this! Gotcha! <laughs> Saved? Wow! Way to go, you two. The name's Rafe. This little fella is Ashley. I've heard those things were unkillable. Was it that weird power of yours that did them in? That's what I thought. Except you don't look anything like a Norman. Can't say the same for her, though. Now's not the time to start picking nits. So, what are you doing out here anyway? I just came out to pick some wild plants and stuff. The kid lives on his own. Apparently, he does this every so often to earn some extra money for food. He's not short on guts, at least. I'm sure Rosa or the priest would have been happy to help if he'd asked them straight up. Oh, stuff it. I can't stand anybody from town. And that includes you, Rafe. You're the one who went on about there being a lot of beasts around these days before inviting yourself along. And thanks to that, you didn't walk straight into their stomachs. Would it kill you to be a little less prickly with me? I mean, you get along just fine with that little girl over at the lighthouse. <laughs> Not really. Sometimes she gives me gifts and I return the favor. That's all. I do wonder if Sasha's alright, though. Of course. I'll make sure he gets home safe. We should be fine going back the way you came. Just remember to watch yourselves out there, okay? Oh, when injured, standing still in a safe situation will gradually recover lost <laughs> HP. Yeah, that's kind of the same in other games as well. Not surprised on that. Stronger the bet. Why is he saying, what's this? What am I looking at? Another one. Down that way! You impertinent brutes! Don't you come any closer! Do you even realize who you're dealing with? This can't be the end. Is there no one, anyone who will save me? Quit screaming and hollering before you rile them up even more. My pleas are answered. How sluggish can you be? You should have sprung to my aid the moment you spotted me! Excuse me? You got some nerve taking an attitude with the people who bailed you out. You're real gussied up. Doesn't seem like you're from around these parts, though. That's... What concern is that of yours, pray tell? Y you're right. Being ambushed by those creatures has me all of a dither. Oh, goodness. I truly am a pampered, spoiled thing, aren't I? What in hell is she mumbling about? 
My name is Millet. I am... a traveler passing through. Ahem. Forgive my lapse in manners. As it happens, I have a request to make of ones so capable as yourselves. You see, I am rather eager to continue down this highway to the next town over. But those peculiar wolves litter the path ahead. Might I request that you dispatch them and ensure my safe passage? Hang on. You're not about to tell us there's even more people farther up the road, are you? Uh, n not at all. There were no signs of anyone save for myself. Aye. We don't have time to entertain your selfish whims right now. Take the path we came here on. The local militia will be there to protect you. <sighs> it would seem there's no insisting otherwise. Very well. I shall do as you suggest. That scream just now. I think it came from over there. Pharos Lighthouse, to be exact. Any vessel traversing these waters depends on it. I think the man who tends the place is living there with his kid. Okay. Oh. What? I didn't really take damage from that for some reason. I, I did press dual mode, but maybe that does help block stuff. Okay, so this thing, like, Inferno difficulty doesn't actually make enemies extremely tanky. As you can see, like, I'm playing on Inferno, but I just take a lot of damage, but these enemies are still dying relatively quickly. So it's nice to see that Inferno really just makes it hard to survive and not hard to kill. Um, so that makes this really playable. I think it's fine to play uh, on Inferno. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely difficult because I, I can't tank any hits. I die in like one or two hits. So it's not easy by any means, but it's playable because like it's just like a get good kind of thing. Once you're good enough and you don't get hit, then get away you don't from die. There at once. Blast. There's no time to lose. Those girls are in danger. Who are you two? Stay back. This won't take us long. Okay, this is a boss, right? Durability meter. Such enemies cannot be damaged until the durability is depleted. Okay. I think guard, right? With yeah. Okay. So it doesn't really. I don't know why you can actually guard these attacks now. It's kind of weird. And then there's like infinite energy with dual, right? Like, it feels like it's infinite, so, like, why would I not spam it? Like, why would I not use dual mode? Do more damage anyways. I don't know. I don't really understand dual mode yet. Th thank you for coming to my rescue. Aren't you that same lad from Rusveri's place? Oh, never mind that. I could really use your help right now. Uh, I should say so. The lighthouse has been overrun by beasts. Not only is my daughter still inside, but Rosalind too. She had merely come by to pick some flowers. Rosalind? That the girl whose family runs the inn? Please, save them. I beg of you. We'll make our way in, but whether they die or survive is up to them. Living is a choice. One those two have to make on their own. I hear you. Let's go. Huh. I wonder if this is the only game where you only have two characters. It doesn't feel like the game is designed to have more than two, because the tooltip there says it increases Addo and Karja's stats, not character stats in general. So, like, maybe this game only has Addo and Karja. Maybe. I don't know. Constant danger, standing still won't recover HP. Oh, so it's like I have to be careful and not take too much damage because I can't just stand and recover health. Uh, I have to use items. Wait. Oh, can I switch now? Switching, yay! 
Yeah, switch control between Addo and Karja. So yeah, it does sound like there's only two characters to play this one. Uh, SPK switching the control character at the right time you can perform skills in succession. So basically you can swap between the two. Oh, that's what the other bar is. It's her bar. Her SP bar. I see. Recover each SP and gradually recover each SP. Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Oh, wow, she's slow. I don't really What's like her this? face now. Uh, how do I open this? Examine code X. Oh, but I'm being attacked. Oh, what? Wow, I died in help. one hit. Holy crap. Hang in there, Karja. Okay, wow. This is no joke. These enemies are hitting me so hard. Sorry. Ooh. One hit KO. Okay, so I, I was saying like it's not hard, but oh man, it's hard. These things are so uh, okay. So I'm gonna have to kill them first. Sorry. Ooh. I can't go down like this. There's a treasure chest! Hard stuff? Oh that? man, there's so many. Oh, gotcha. Careful. Oh, let's Oh What's wow, this? switching character gives like half health to res rescue them. Well, I mean, I guess health isn't really that useful for me. Nornir Spindle? What? Antique obtained earlier against the glow. Mana action, mana string. What the heck is that? L2 and the reticle mana string. Uh, closing distance. Oh, you can use it on enemies too. Wow. Here goes. That's so cool. Woohoo! Now this I like. Let's keep up the pace. These defenses look pretty sturdy. Let me take a crack at it first. Did I like perfect card? What? Oh no! It broke through. Sorry. Oh, they can still break the guard. You'll be so it's fine. Not Just hang tight. Okay. Oh, I knocked him down. So quickly oh, save battle. Thanks. Not here. Uh oh. Can't lose you. Get back on your feet. Thanks. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Oh no, I don't want to do them over. Oh. Can't guard with those. Still has some fight in you, right? I think eventually I'll get to learn like charge attacks and stuff, because normally. Why, uh, YS has like charge attacks, but I don't see that right now. It lets you get uh, energy back a little bit quicker. Switch. Gotcha. Sorry. Oh wow, what? I can't go down like this. Huh? Hope I'm not too late. I was almost in the Okay, this is not good. I'm gonna die. Out. There's just too many. Oh, and I stop. Ah, uh, this is rough. How far do I reset back? Oh, to the chest. Wow, that's pretty far. Uh oh. Not looking good. You're kidding. Gotcha. 
So hard. Messed up. The one shot makes it very difficult to uh, actually like because like you can't even tank like more than one hit, which makes it like you, you have to bear basically do a perfect like, um, which is not something that I'm very used to. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of trial and error because I'm not used to like having to do such like a perfect play, a playthrough of like an action game so it's gonna be a lot of me dying um, but at the same time I feel like it's kind of fun having like such a high risk game for an action game which gives you all the flexibility and tools that you require to actually play the game really well. Um, like, perfect guard, perfect dodge, there's all that. And then there's even like, ways to block super attacks. Like the, uh, using dual mode to do block like power attacks. So the game has everything for you to use um, to like counter every single attack. It's just you have to learn all the mechanics and utilize it to react and utilize it like well. Um, which is really difficult to do for me, right now. Um, since it's still kind of like reviewing the experience. Not entirely sure on how the entire game works yet. Plus, there's a lot of controls here, which makes it a little bit difficult to navigate. I don't know why the audio is kind of cracking up, but I don't think it's actually the biggest issue in making my recording software. Like, uh, which is OBS and uh, Elgato X. That's what I'm using. So maybe one of these things are bugging out, so I might need to restart it, but I can't do that mid recording. Now this I like. Let's keep up the pace. Yeah, but I can definitely hear like audio breaking, which is not ideal. Okay, no new items. Um, let's see. Oh, I got a new skill. When? Improve skill mastery to 100%. Oh, okay. What's the skill mastery at? 42%. Wait, does that mean... Oh, you can probably get multiple levels like before, right? I don't think it's just going to be one. Because I have to use skill just a little bit more than the upgraded skill. Gotta stick it out. Get back on your feet. You know what? I wonder if I can actually grind a few levels. Like if I go outside back to door and then come back and I maintain my level if I restart. Oh, yeah, yeah, I heal the fall. Oh, a new dungeon kind of basically restarts. Oh, okay. So I can actually grind a few levels to make myself 
a little bit tankier and like we will complete this content a little bit easier. I didn't have dual mode. I couldn't block it, and I couldn't dodge out of the way. Something's there. Okay, is there a mastery for the normal attack? Oh, I see. Oh, no, the normal attack doesn't have any mastery. More checkpoints. Like, like having to reset like this much progress every time is kind of Something's rough. There. But I mean, I guess the game lets you kind of customize difficulty however you want. So if you really couldn't stand this, you could just easily lower the difficulty. Wow, what a KO! Still got some fight in you, right? Thanks. Switch.
Dodge, but I guess it's still got some fight. Oh. Still got some fight in you, right? Oh, that was close. Hope I'm not too late. Is your cutting? It's getting rough. Hang in there, Karja. Sorry to get you out. Gotcha. Huh? Switch! Okay. Here. No. I'm coming to help. Yes, kill the pig. Get back on your feet. Sorry to put you out. Uh, I want to go through the wolves. You know what? I'm. I think I'm gonna run right through them. I, I think I. I don't think I can fight them on a fair fight. But run, running right through them should be fine. Cause there should be a checkpoint, right? Yes. And then I can heal and just keep on restarting from. Can we even make it? Yeah. Time. Okay. Yeah, so now there's a checkpoint, so I can just actually kind of farm this area a little bit. Because, like, on Inferno, not leveling is going to be extremely rough. So I definitely think I do need to farm a little bit. Um, like, all YS games, I like to play it on a very high difficulty. Um, so I think Inferno is definitely playable on your first playthrough if you're interested in a very difficult playthrough but you have to grind a little bit to hopefully get strong enough that you can stand at least like one critical hit right now i can't i just basically die if they land like a good shot on me and then that's a little bit too rough for me um so hopefully i can do that or or if i really can't stand it i'll actually lower it down to an inferno difficulty i mean nightmare difficulty I usually play YS games on Nightmare. But I feel like the Inferno difficulty is feasible this time around. Uh oh. Okay, still worked out. Oh wait, that's the right direction. Okay, so I'm gonna try the boss. Which I think this is the boss, and this is probably going to be the first boss, so let's drop a save here, um, just in case. Everything's going to be fine, Sash. Someone will be here to rescue us any moment now. You did good, kid. Now stay back and watch us finish the job. Uh, okay. The vision of a new skill that draws on the duels combined powers while it's up through the shackles. Dual smash. Double smash. Okay, open the skill menu. Uh, let's go double slash. Uses 100 SP. Oh, does that mean I use both characters' SP to use that? Give it a shot. Okay, let's try it. Dual skills. SP consumed by dual skills are split even in between users. Should one of the two have some efficient SP, the skill will still be performed if the other has enough to make up the difference. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Armed fighter. Can I block this? I can. Oh wow. 
Can't that go hit down like, like 800 this. damage. No matter what kind of grinding I do, I'm not doing like that. Here. <laughs> doing what KOs? Ah, okay. Let's keep on trying. I'm not going to give up that easily. This one's gonna. Be Ooh, I mistimed that perfect guard when I dived out. into them. Still got some fight in you, right? Oh, solo skills are better. Why am I using a dual skill? My solo skill is hitting 160 something. And my dual skill is only hitting like uh, 200. So like it's costing more and it's doing less. That's so weird. It looks cool. Though. I can't even get rid of the shield. Still got some fight. You're Ooh. kidding. Man, Inferno is really rough. Can't even take down the shield. I haven't been able to take down the shield at all. Best up. Hit. And like my character, other character can get hit while the enemy is attacking. So I'm not able to really get back on your feet. Sorry. Okay, I can't dodge mid combat or like mid action. Okay, that's making me a little bit hard. Get out! Get back on your feet! Thanks! Sorry! Wait, do I still take damage if I guard? I don't have to guard it now, but I still take damage. Hang in there, Karja! Hang in there, Karja! Sorry! I'm not seeing the flash dodge that used to exist in other... Why yes, I wonder if it's something that you have to eventually stop. I know perfect guard is. Can't go down like this. Down. Oh, Paul. You're kidding. Mm. Man, this is rough. Everything is one hit KO. I really have to get used to guarding. Because I, I like dodging when YS games. But this doesn't seem to be very dodge friendly. Ooh, I take 590 damage from one hit. I took 6, 748 damage. That's more than my entire health. Messed up. Dodge that without battle being alive, because I can't dodge without fuel. Yes, I don't. Wait, that's not. Gotta top it out. I feel like the dodge in this game has some. Delay. Like there's some really strong input lag when I'm pressing uh, the rescue button. Like I'm talking like three seconds or something. Very slow to react on trying to rescue. 
Okay, so I didn't manage to dodge that. And the worst thing is I can't switch to the other character in the Yeah, so I can't really dodge that because they fly up right above me. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of delay on rescue. I don't know why. It's like horrible. Okay, can dodge that. Dodge timing is very rough. Okay, and I can't swap back to my character right after it dies. There's like some delay on it. Hang in there, Korja! Thanks. Oh, so this game is very dependent on dual mode, because as long as you hold on to R2, which is the dual mode, it automatically guards against a lot of the attacks. So you don't actually need to time it that way. You just have to be sure to like play safe. Okay, so I lost Addo, which is going to be horrible, because you can't play this game without dual mode. Game revolves heavily on dual mode. Like without dual mode, I don't know how you can survive that slam attack. Thanks. And then with dual mode, you can easily guard against all enemy attacks as long as you're not attacking while you're doing dual mode. Okay, so I have to lure the enemy into attacking. Yeah, I don't know how you can dodge that without dual mode. Maybe jumping? I didn't try jumping. But like, this boss is rough because I haven't actually even done any damage to its health. Yet. I haven't even been able to take down the shield. But at least you can tell like it's pretty easy to guard against an enemy attack as long as you're not attacking. So like, as long as you're playing super defensive, you can actually guard every single attack. Yeah, how the heck am I supposed to dodge that without Addo? I can't jump, I can't dodge fast enough, I can't get away from it. Oops. You'll be fine. Just take a fight fighting, right? I was almost a goner. <laughs> Uh oh. Back on your feet. Sorry to put you out. What? Oh, that attack can. Oh, I just like all the So, like, yeah, as long as you're playing, like, super safe, you don't die. Uh oh. Yeah, this, I think YS-10 is kind of weird, because, like, it's losing the pacing that the old games have. I feel like, as long as I play safe, it's not that bad. I just have to press R2. 
Like, essentially, I'm just being really safe, and I'm not dying at all. Like, because I can automatically guard everyone. I don't even have to perfect guard. Like, you see, I'm just pressing square extremely slowly, and that's it. And, like, even with the use, like, super attacks, I just have to hold on to R2, and I'm, I'm safe. You know, this really doesn't make it fun. Like, it's it's kind of making me feel like it's lo like it, the game's losing the magic that the old games have, which was extremely fluid dodge and guard mechanics that you can use mid combat, like mid combos. But now you have like you can't use like animation cancel um like mid combos as well, so it's not letting me really do much. Like, I don't- I can't be as reckless at as I'm used to. Yeah, but this one was very easy once I just spammed- held R2 and never let it go. And it just blocked everything. Wow! What in the world? That beast was anything but normal. Hey! Daddy! Sash! Thank the stars! You're not hurt, are you? We saw how you tackled that thing, Adol. You two were awesome with a capital A. Right, Commander? I told you he knows his stuff. That he does. Even without that strange power, his swordsmanship goes beyond his years. He and the young lady here were so in sync, I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me. It's because of you both that Rosalind and my little girl came out unharmed. I can't possibly thank you enough. The other travelers who were along the highway are fine as well, save for a few minor injuries. Adol, Karsha, you've got our gratitude. Uh, Kren! Rosa! I didn't even realize you left town. It's a good thing you're okay, though. I don't think your folks could take it if something happened to you, too. <sighs> oh, right! Me and Rosa here have been friends since we were little, so I owe you for saving her, too. Thanks a million. Adol, just what were those creatures? That's something we're still trying to get a handle on ourselves. But let's hold off on it until we get back to Karnak. Might be a good idea to fill the mayor in on the situation and hash things out ASAP. Okay, so, yeah, this game so far, it feels like the pacing is a little bit slower than uh, YS9, especially since the easiest way for me to actually beat that boss was to hold on to R2 the entire time, R2 being guard uh, dual mode, which has auto guard, and like, that was essentially it. All I did was hold on to R2 and just attacked very slowly, so I guarded every single attack. Instead of like, you know... In old YS games where you can just keep on attacking as, as long as you do like a light tap on the guard button, you do a flash guard. That is kind of missing here. So I am currently like not super impressed with the combat system. I feel like the YS9 is a little bit more fluid. But the weird thing about YS game is that they try to make you have like a sense of progression. So as you play the game, you unlock new features which improve the game mechanics. So I think this is going to be kind of like that too. Like right now, it's still in like baby tutorial mode, which doesn't have like all the mechanics fully fledged out. Um, and as you play, you start unlocking new stuff and then you start unlocking more mechanics and then it becomes like a more enjoyable full-fledged game so i'm looking out for that because we don't even have like the super awakening mode yet now maybe there's like some kind of like duo awakening synergy mode which lets you have like unlimited sp and you can spam attacks and then unlock unleash like an ultimate super attack um which is usually what is in ys games so i think a lot of that is in there and then there's probably like some kind of like super counter moves and stuff like that to like counter 
our attacks so you aren't only just guarding. I think there's going to be some kind of offensive form of auto guarding. Like you press like uh, a skill to use a certain skill that counters a power attack or or like a regular attack and stuff like that. Um, and that's where the whole gameplay changes. Uh, it makes it different and unique. Because every YS game is significantly different from each other, and it usually introduces some some kind of like new mechanic into the game. Um, so that makes the gameplay really fresh and fun to play. Uh, and I think this one is like that. Right now, I'm not impressed because the first boss never really impresses. The mechanics are that I really like from the old games, which is like flash dodge and like flash guard, flash move. Um, these are kind of missing. Like, it, I'm not seeing the time slow and all that, and I am kind of disappointed that it's missing. It's normally there, so... But hopefully they introduce an equivalent version of that uh, eventually. Okay, so... Switch! What a long day. Can't wait to chow down back at the inn. Wait, do they even have any empty rooms? Then again, these cuffs will probably... We can worry about that later. Let's focus on getting some grub for now. Okay, well, uh, I think I will end it here. And I'll pick up right after. So uh, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next one.